Hello everyone, this is Sunny Life. Today we want to discuss about the obedient. Who are the obedient? We don't hear so many things. You get what I go show now. Obedient are Peter Obi's army. That I know they don't respect people, they cause trouble. Oh, obedient are IPOP members, which Peter Obi is disguised, is the IPOP leader disguising himself and using them. Oh, obedience are Labour Party touts or talks. Ah, obedience don't respect elders. These are mostly the rubbish you hear about obedience. Let me clear the air very clear so that you understand who are the obedient. Why the name obedient? Very clear so that make Nigerian government understand. Make Nigerians understand this very clear. Obedience are Nigerians that identify themselves with a leader that will effect the change that we need. They are not politically inclined. I'm sure 80%, over 80% of them are not affiliated with any political party. They are members of all the parties, including Labour Party and all the parties. They are Nigerians that have come together to harness their energy and polarize that energy on one person that they see is going to bring that change that they want to change this country to work for everybody for everybody they are not religious they don't have the identity is not limited to section tribe culture race or religion you know all those identities that divide us this is not the qualities of obedience nigerians have identified out of these three leaders here that are contesting for the office of the president, because the problem of Nigeria is leadership. They saw Peter Obi, Atiku, Tinibu. And they know the way Nigeria is, is the turn of the South. And out of Tinibu and Peter Obi, they recognize Tinibu as someone who has served and he doesn't carry the strength and the energy and the mental capacity to lead again. So they respect him and they now go for Peter Obi as the best option. So obedient are people that wish this country well. They want Nigeria to work for everyone. They are not Peter Obi army. And point of correction, there is nothing, Peter Obi doesn't control them. Peter Obi is not controlling them. He earns their respect. They trust him and respect him because of who he is. It is a relationship that cannot be broken. And Peter B treasure that relationship with all amount of humility and love and respect. That's why he constantly earned their love and trust. Let's say Peter B was not in the equation. Take Peter B out of the equation. Let's say it was Atiku, Tinibu, and Osibanjo. Three of them. Three different parties. 100% of all the people you call obedient, which are Nigerians, will have rooted for Osibanjo for president. They are the true Nigerians that want this country to work. Like I said, Peter B is not controlling them. They respect and listen to him because they look up to him as a leader. So he can tell them, please don't do this, don't do and they can and they can just respect him and follow. Because even Peter B do anyhow, he go collect. He go collect. And Peter B will not because that is not in his nature. Nigeria is not working for Nigerians. Some few people in Abuja just sit down there stealing the country's wealth and resources and sharing. That is our Nigeria function. Nigeria can't feed itself with all the landmass, which is a shame. A true leader can transform this country, and Nigeria works for everyone. Obedience won Nigeria to work for everyone. They don't belong to Peter Obi or Labour Party. They are not evil people. For all those people who have been using these few days just trying to find one name or the other to give Peter Obi, they are Nigerians. They just chose that name, Obedient, to identify a leader that they see is the change that we want. These are the true Obedient. Obedience are Nigerians that work in Nigeria, that want Nigeria to work. And you can see uh, Senator Sheh Usani. He clearly said, if not for the obedient, this country will have been, you will have been a country of tyranny. 
That is the only thing we have been trending. We cannot afford to lose this opportunity to get this country working. The few people in Abuja cannot impose Tinibu on us. If you say Tinibu won the election, prove it in court because you didn't follow your guideline. Don't take the obedience for granted. Not just the obedience, even the leaders of the country, the elders, those who have the capacity and resources. Everybody is thinking and nobody is going to accept this fraud by Ma Yakubu, Ainek and Ainek. They will not. If you think you won the election, you must prove it. If it inflates the tribunal and force a Tinibu on Nigerians, the consequence of that action, when I go see for I, don't be story. Everybody's angry. You think you can fight the whole Nigerians? People were connected physically, mentally, and emotionally in this 2023 election. So the people are involved, they're interested. You think they will keep quiet? Not gonna try the rubbish in Abuja. Go and influence the tribunal and tell us that the election was no rigged, that Nigerians got to Tinibu. And you can't prove it and enforce it and force it on Nigerians. When I go see for eye, what will happen? Everybody is calm because there is hope. On the, they are just looking at the tribunal. Maybe they try the rubbish. This is not 2011. This is not 2015. This is not 2019. This is 2023. Everybody wants this country to work for everyone. It cannot work for some few idiots in Abuja. Stealing and sharing is not going to work. Nigeria will work for everybody. I'm not going to have radio because we're going to fight 150 million people. When I wait there for Abuja, you think you own this country? You can't be like, say, in a different set of people. Then the idiots in Abuja and a different set of people, they get Nigeria. So when we talk, it's as if we are opposing. This is our country. We want it to work. Follow the process. If the process of election is transmit the result, transmit it. You read the election finish, you think we'll keep quiet. Like I said, let me remind you guys again. 2023 election, people are connected mentally, physically, and emotionally. They are involved and they are interested. And they are called obedient. Because, listen, they didn't vote only p 2 And they didn't vote Labour Party. I say they are Nigerians. They don't be, they have nothing to do with. They may not have most of them are not, they don't belong to a political party. If you can see the way they're voting, they just vote who they see is best. Across the country, every country works for its citizen. Nigeria is not working for it's working for the people in Abuja. You can't fight your citizen. This is a warning to those who think that obedient are Peter B boys. If you like, you can remove the OB. From the obedient, there are Nigerians that work in Nigeria to work. I'm emphasizing this 2023 election. The result, the outcome of that result, must be upheld. What could I tell the tribunal? Because a lot of people are involved. If you are, if you are, if you are getting intelligent, pay attention to everybody all over the country. They are just waiting for the tribunal. If you think you can impose Tinibu without proving that Tinibu won the election, and don't worry, nothing will happen. No wala. <coughs> no wala. Regal. And I will see for I. If you are an intelligent leader, pay attention to the impulse of your people, citizen. You will know the anger, the frustration is so much. And people are just coming down, waiting for the tribunal. You think you're going to take Nigerians for a ride at 2023? This ride, continue another eight years of suffering. It can never happen. It can never ever happen. Who can I pay attention? Ah, so do what you want to do. It's not about me. It's not about me. Ah, so are you inciting anything? You're an idiot to think that I'm inciting something. You have to be an extreme idiot, a fool, to think that way. Because you think Nigerians are fools, they don't get brain. They will wait for me to go inside them. I think. They don't get brain. You think people are not thinking? Resourceful people, businessmen, big people in this world. You, you think they are not thinking right now? They are thinking. They have the capacity and they are also thinking. You think you are the only one planning? You read the election, nothing will happen because you have army and some small AK-47 to intimidate people. Ah. 
story of the gods. In 2023, in 21st century, you had army and small AK-47 to intimidate people and force Tinibu on us without proving it. Now go see and for I. This country must work for everybody. Obedience are true Nigerians that want a better country. My name is Sunny Life. Una know me now they talk as he be. So for now where they for Abuja they think rubbish. Make una brain reset. Nobody has ever fought his citizen and win. Make una brain work. Make una think up. Tunisia, Sri Lanka, I can count them. They go. The few places. The recently in African countries, Nigeria will go be unique. People are angry and tired. Don't play with the intelligence of the Nigerian people. They are richer, they have the resources, they have the capacity, they can organize, they can unite. They have more than enough option. They are just waiting for the tribunal. But when I not do waiting, go affect the whole country and will take us 1,000 years back. Nigeria must work for everyone. If Tinubu win the election, prove it. Which I doubt 100%. There's no same human being over to as a president. It's not because he's bad, he's weak. Fiscally, he's weak. Mentally, he's weak. For God's sake, I saw more stigma behind him. The whole internet. Tinibu has trended in the entire for the, all this week. He don't trend for being a drug baron. That's a shame. Go to Western African countries. Look at other African countries. It's like she, they carry and as a lot of things talk to us. See the kind of person we will not go carry as president. Not only that, a drop baron. So that so in the whole of Nigeria, that will be our pride. Our leader the day like this. And our drop baron. So that won't read the election. Why not carry your Sibanjo? At least. Sibanjo is sound. Now go carry Tinibu. So we could just sit down. My name is Sonny Life. You guys have a lovely day. Cheers, man. I want this country to work. All of us want this country to work. One love.